If uh, scientists talk about consciousness as if it were they're just the product of the human brain, some religious people talk about consciousness as if it's the most important thing in the universe. How does Buddhism look upon the nature of consciousness? In Buddhism, the mind is a kind of broad mm. uh, concept, include uh, you know our eyes. The, the things that we see, and the ears, the nose, and tongue, and body touching, or even deeper, what we call, you know, uh, the seeds of our experience. So these are all facets of consciousness. Mm -hmm. is it, this is all consciousness. And uh, of course, I mean, the, this consciousness always change. I know that in the West, we, you know, we separate uh, um, the mind and body. Yeah. Or people say, okay, th that's only material. Uh, but, but Buddhism is not, you know, kind of black and white. It's more like a, it's a, it's a, it's a you know, a spectrum. For example, a humans experience certain thing and the animal are different. So there's a different kinds of consciousness because different of the experiences and the sensations that each have. Exactly. Or even Buddhism will say the karma are different. Yeah. The, our, our karma are different. What is the relationship between karma and consciousness? Literally, karma means action. action. Of course, it's not just a physical action. So this consciousness is um, like a storage room and experience all our action hmm. or our karma, you know, the experience from pa past. And that's why, you know, that's who we are. So maybe I was, you know, um, a male in the previous life and this life have become a female or you know the animal you know uh, my my previous life or maybe I'm human being I'm, I will be the animal you know but that's the way we only see kind of in the appearance but yes even the, the consciousness it keeps changing as well <laughs>